Our ultimate goal is to develop pupils who act with integrity in all areas of their school life and beyond. We work hard to support our pupils to be aspirational in their approach to learning and life, to be reflective and resilient in their approach to their learning, but also more broadly, to be reflective and welcoming in the way they behave and treat others, and to learn how to develop balance in the way they manage work and general well-being. We believe that by developing these characteristics, we will enable our pupils to achieve well academically and to be ready to be successful when they leave Felstead. We offer two main pathways through our sixth form to enable our pupils to choose the right route for them and for their future aspirations. Both routes offer the opportunity for pupils to choose their strongest subjects, either focusing on three subjects or maintaining breadth through six subjects and also enables them to undertake an independent research project to investigate in more detail an area of their choice and to develop the skills to manage their time and to be self-reflective through this process. Our standard A-level curriculum is three A-levels plus the extended project qualification. We will consider requests for pupils to take four subjects, especially if they are taking maths and further maths, we do expect our pupils who start their sixth form with four A-levels to finish their sixth form with four A-levels. We offer a wide variety of subjects at A-level and the benefit of choosing A-level rather than IB is that you can choose to specialise in a particular area if you particularly enjoy humanities, science or languages. Unless they are taking four A-levels, our A-level pupils are also expected to undertake the extended project qualification this is assessed and accredited by an exam board and can gather UCAS points. For an EPQ, the range of UCAS points available is half that of an A-level and is more than of an AS. The EPQ itself provides an opportunity for pupils to choose an area of interest that may be linked to their choice of subject at university and to demonstrate a specialism. The fact that it is assessed on the process as well as the outcome encourages pupils to be organised and reflective throughout, rather than focusing on the end point. The other route through our sixth form is for pupils to follow the International Baccalaureate. The key difference from A-level is that students continue with six subjects, and these need to be drawn from a range of subject areas. Language and literature, language acquisition, humanities, science, maths, and the arts. These subjects, combined with the core, form one coherent qualification. The core is made up of the extended essay, which is now mirrored in the A-level programme by the EPQ, uh, CAS, which is Creativity Action Service, which seeks to recognise co-curricular and service learning undertaken by students during the course, and Theory of Knowledge, which asks pupils to examine information critically how do we know what we know? And how reliable is that information? The IB assessment has two strands. All subjects have some kind of internal assessment or coursework, and almost all will have a formal examination at the end of the upper six. Results for the IB diploma are released in early July, and students often have university places confirmed early in the summer after they complete the upper six. In 2019, Almost all of our IB students gained a place at their first choice university, including places at Cambridge, Manchester, King's and many other Russell Group universities. We also sent IB students to the US to start many undergraduate courses and several to European universities. As Chris has already said, we educate a broad range of learners and make sure we have support in place for each of their individual needs. In the sixth form, we offer a wide range of academic opportunities, whether they are academic societies or opportunities for leadership and extension in other ways. We run an academic society for our scholars called the Andrews Society, which runs in parallel with our support for pupils applying for Oxbridge or competitive applications. Furthermore, we run a medic society, which is available to pupils throughout the school who have aspirations to apply for medicine, veterinary or dentistry. These societies run in parallel to the support given to our pupils to help them prepare for university applications. All pupils have timetable careers lessons from year 10 upwards, and this is supplemented by specific events about careers, university and apprenticeships throughout the sixth form. 
These are designed to give students more information about specific career paths open to them and to offer support and a network of Oldfell Studians to give them greater opportunities in their chosen field. Finally, when it is time to apply for university, each student is given individual support to choose appropriate courses, to write a strong personal statement and given a one-to-one -one interview with the Director of Professional Guidance to review their application prior to submission. We offer a range of support for all of our pupils through sixth form. We have a dedicated team within our EAL department for those pupils who are joining us from overseas who might want support with their spoken English. These could be through one-to-one -one lessons or just through dropping into the clinics that are offered at times throughout the week. We have an extensive team within our support for learning department who can help those pupils with additional learning needs. These can be one-to-one -one lessons that fit around your normal subjects and can be targeted to offer support with the subjects that you're taking. 